signs of a combined opposition front to take on BJP became visible at JDS leader HD Kumaraswamy's swearing-in ceremony, amid a display of camaraderie clearly meant for public consumption. While these leaders sporadically called for broad opposition unity, the Karnataka experiment where Congress surrendered the chief ministerial berth to prevent BJP forming the government clearly made an impression on opposition parties and catalyzed Wednesday's visual spectacle. Parallels will be drawn to the formation of Janata Party in 1977, National Front in 1989 and United Front in 1996. Illustration, Ajit Nain and but these were ultimately failed attempts though they succeeded in the immediate aim of government formation. So while the optics of opposition leaders and chief ministers from many parties and states embracing and holding hands is a headline-grabbing moment, the warm vibes will be tested when they get down to business. Already, Congress strongman DK Shiva Kumar is sulking over non-accommodation in Karnataka's new arrangements. For Congress, its much-touted generational change may have to wait going by the ease with which former President Sonia Gandhi held center stage and demonstrated her rapport with other opposition leaders. Rahul Gandhi's desire to rebuild Congress runs counter to the calculations of regional parties which want the grand old party to cede more space. Such contradictions will play into the BJP narrative that any non-BJP front would be an inherently unstable ragtag coalition. Congress JD's alliance in Karnataka will be a test case for providing good governance and stability. The electoral arithmetic of a non-BJP front will be tested in UPS Kairana by poll where SP, BSP and Congress are supporting an RLD candidate against BJP. In two bipoles in Maharashtra, NCP and Congress have revived their alliance even as the BJP Shiv Sena alliance ran into rough weather. The glue holding together a disparate group of opposition parties is the old enemy of an enemy is a friend principle, they are all opposed to BJP and Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Looking forward to the next general elections, even if this group can arrive at seat-sharing arrangements among themselves, they will need to ride on high levels of anti-incumbency to dethrone NDA with a purely negative message. The moot point, then, is whether levels of anti-incumbency in the country are as high now as they were in 1977, after the emergency, or in 1989. It will take a lot to satisfy all those criteria. This piece appeared as an editorial opinion in the print edition of The Times of India. From around the web from around the web more from The Times of India recommended by Columbia.